hello everyone in the last video we discuss about the molarity and molality uh the another concentration term that we are going to discuss is mole fraction and definitely is the name suggests it's the mole fraction so how we can write this suppose uh there are two component a and b and the moles of a are a is na and moles of b is nb so the mole fraction of a that is given by chi a that will be equal to moles of a upon moles of total number of moles so definitely it is mole fraction so the moles of component divided by the total number of moles will represent the mole fraction of that component so in the same way we can write the mole fraction of b which will be equal to moles of b divided by moles of a plus moles of b so definitely if more than one components are present like a b c and d so we can say that the mole summation of all the components that will be equal to 1 so chi a plus chi b that will be equal to 1 one more important result you must learn that you must remember that the ratio of mole fractions so the ratio of mole fractions will be in their mole ratio definitely this relation is very helpful to relate the mole fraction with the other concentration terms so mole fraction because it is the fraction so it is to be noted that this is the concentration term which don't have any unit so it is unitless the next concentration term uh, that that is uh, called ppm which is parts per million and the parts per million uh this is the concentration term which is used to express the concentration when the solute content uh is very less as compared to the solvent for example the salt content present in sea water is expressed in terms of ppm or we can say that hardness of water is expressed in terms of ppm so what we can say hardness of water hardness of water is expressed in terms of this yeah we can say that salt content salt content in sea water these are the two example in which we are showing that the amount of solute amount of solute present is very less than as compared to the solvent so how we can uh, write the expression of ppm simply ppm we can write as milligram per liter this is the first expression milligram per liter or we can say that ppm will be equal to weight of solute upon weight of solution into 10 to the power 6 so this, this is a concentration term uh now we can write uh, one more concentration term which is called ppb parts per billion so parts per billion uh we can say that parts per billion is simply microgram per liter so we can say that parts per billion will be equal to the weight of solute upon weight of solution into 10 to the power 9 it is to be noted that because the solvent present uh in the solution is very high so we can say that uh for ppm uh in place of weight of solution we can also write the weight of solute upon weight of solvent into 10 to the power 6 in the same way we can write for this also now how the concentration terms are related with each other uh we will discuss later but first we can take uh, one example uh, to calculate the percentage w by w percentage w by v and the mole fraction and ppm and molarity and molarity by taking a example so let's take a example that 40 g 
of MgO and Rishum oxide is dissolved in water to form 200 ml of 200 ml of solution density of solution is given as 1.2 gram per ml now find now find first it is required to calculate percentage w by v and second is percentage w by w third is capital m which is molarity and fourth is small m which is molality also it is required to calculate uh, parts per million ppm and sixth part is mole fraction of solvent so uh, let's discuss all these terms one by one so how we can find out the percentage w by v as i told you that uh, in the first video i told you that if percentage w by v is weight of solute which is 40 g weight of solute upon volume of solution so definitely weight of solute is 40 g now the volume of solution is 200 ml into 100 so definitely percentage w by v will be equal to 20 20% percent ho jayega and now percentage w by w percentage w by w is given by weight of solute upon weight of solution so weight of solute is 40 g now weight of solution is required it, it is to be noted that volume of solution is given which is 200 ml and density of solution is given as 1.2 g per ml so v into d will be the mass of solution ya weight of solution so 1.2 into 200 it will make 240 g into 100 so definitely we can solve this and uh, you will get as 50 by 3 right in the next part it is required to calculate the molarity of solution which is moles per liter i told you whenever it is required to calculate molarity you must know only the number of moles per liter of solution so the number of moles will be 40 divided by the molecular mass of MgOs 40, which will be one. One mole present in 200 ml of solution, definitely ml me volume hai. So we can solve this. It will be five capital M. Now, what will be the molality of solution? And for to calculate the molality of solution, I told you moles of solute per kg of solvent. So moles of solute will be 40 by 40 that will be 1 and the mass of solvent here yeah, uh, it is required to write down here so the mass of solution is 240 and the mass of solute is 40 so 240 minus 40 into 1000 and it will make again 5 small m so the molality and molarity of this solution is equal in this case only right so now it is required to calculate the ppm and for the ppm i told you weight of solute upon weight of solution so weight of solute is 40 g and the weight of solution uh, we can say that it is 240 g into 10 to the power 6 so we can say that approximately you will get 1 upon 6 into 10 to the power 6 and now it is required to calculate the mole fraction of water so the mole fraction of water will be equal to number of moles of uh, solvent so definitely the mass of solvent it was 200 g divided by 18 g it is the moles of solvent with the moles of water divided by total moles and the total moles will be 200 upon 18 which is the moles of water this is the moles of water so the moles of mgo will be 1 mole so by calculating it we can find out the number of Uh, uh we can find out the different concentration term in the next video we will relate uh, all the concentration term with with, uh, with each other and also solve different uh, problems which is uh, usually asked in iit or neat examination thank you very much